Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And salutations to all you brothers out there pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. Once again, it's the brother Shot there from the Chicago camp. Coming back to you what I hope is another quick and edifying sit down. And this is just going to be a brief testimony on how the Lord reassured and reaffirmed that when the time comes well we need something he's going to have our back okay and so this incident happened Saturday after the line you know after we got through camping uh I uh I needed to get some uh dinner for my woman and I and so I went to uh an establishment to get some food now before I went in this place it was my full intention for paying for whatever I ordered but nonetheless you know I come up to the counter and it's a super young Judite mommy up there and so I uh, asked her you know I would like to have this to order and is it possible can I have this little bit of extra food? And so she took my order and she was placing it together. And when she came back to the window, she said she gave me the look and she whispered, hey, don't worry about the extra stuff. It's on me. And I was just kind of shocked. And I said, oh, well, thank you. You know, she said, you know, no problem. So once she uh, got my order together I paid and she gave it to me. I say, hey, you, once again, thank you. You have a wonderful evening. And she said, you too. So I come out of the establishment and I order my Uber so I can get home. And as I'm standing out on the corner, I see this white car start slowly rolling by me. And I look over to my left and it's this uh, middle-aged Judite woman and her two daughters in the back of the car with her. And so I'm looking at her slowly pull up in front of me as she rolls down her window. And she says, excuse me, are you all right? And I said, uh, yeah, I'm all right. And she said, are you sure? I said, yeah, I'm sure. I'm just waiting for my Uber so I can get home. And she said, well, well, okay. You know, I mean, you just got this look about yourself that, you know, I thought you might need help. You know, I always obey the spirit and, you know, the spirit was telling me to uh, come talk to you to see if you needed any help because, you know, you were out here and you got this look about yourself. Now, I don't know what look it was. I don't know if it was merely because... Uh, humbly saying I'm a man of the Lord or maybe it was that or my countenance could have been high or it could have been low but whatever it was you know the Lord put the spirit on this woman to just come ask me how I was doing and now the <laughs> the cool thing about it was as this woman was asking me did I need any help? She was waving twenty dollars. She was the whole time. She was like, "Okay, you know, uh, kind of like uh, you know how the, the the nigga woman when she mad, you know, she clap her hands on every single syllable that she says. Well, this was like the exact opposite. As she was every time she would talk, she would wave the twenty dollar bill, and so." I'm saying to myself, wow, this chick doesn't know me from the bum on the street that I'm looking at as I'm waiting for uh, my Uber to arrive. But yet, she's talking about how she always obeys the spirit and she was willing to help me out. So much so to even give me $20 to make sure whatever I needed, that that would probably be enough. 
to get me or to help me whatever with, with whatever I needed. And like I said, you know, that was just a reassurement and a reaffirmment that when the time comes, hey man, we don't have to worry about nothing. You know, the Lord is going to provide for all our needs to make sure that we make it out of, as the Bible says, uh, Jacob's trouble, okay? And so, I don't want to make this too long. I'm going to just go to Matthew, the sixth chapter, and we're going to start at the... Twenty fifth verse, okay, and it says, "Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat, and the body than raiment? Behold, the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns." Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you by taking thought can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if the Most High so clothe the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. And that is true. Okay? Because you have to remember the scripture says the, the Lord is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of, the son of man that he should repent. So if you're doing the things that the Lord requires you to do, then he says that he has your back. All right. And he gives beautiful comparisons in this chapter. Okay. He's telling you that when, when you have things in nature, such as trees and flowers and birds and things like that, these things don't, these creatures and things, they don't do the work of the Lord. They don't go out on the highways and the byways. They don't pray. They don't fast. They don't do charitable work for the brotherhood and the ministry. All right. Birds, trees, flowers. They do none of these things. But the Lord makes sure. Okay. That they have all they need. Okay. It's a beautiful day here in Chicago. And look at the foliage. All right. You have trees that have been in the same place for 50 years and you look at them, they're tall, full bloom, very green, very lively. And the Lord saying, look what I do for these things that don't do the work. How much more will I provide for you being my son, a man of the Lord, if you're out here doing the work? So. Like I said, it was just a, you know, a small faith booster that reassured and reaffirmed that, you know, for you brothers and sisters out there, hey, when Jacob's trouble comes, when that time comes where our faith is truly going to be tested, all right, the Lord is going to provide for us. So fret not, fear not, you know, just continue steadfast in the things that you have learned and have been taught. So uh, hopefully this little short testimony was uh, edifying. 
Once again, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And salutations to all you brothers out there pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. With that, we're going to say Shalom.